When I was young and I was growing up, my mother always likes to tell the story that I started a family newspaper, which um, had the immortal title of the Twicely Supplement um, because it came out twice a week. I really can't even remember what drove that and, and uh, being consciously thinking because this is what I want to do when I grow up. But clearly it was deep down in there uh, dying to get out. I often see my role, no matter whether it's in print, radio or television, as being the conduit. The person who can take a really complex or challenging uh, or even upsetting story or policy or idea to synthesise the information and to communicate it in such a way that's going to be meaningful, that's going to affect people in a way that's profound. There's a real connectedness to the listening community in radio. Somewhere out there, there's someone sitting in the car, they're in the garage and the groceries are melting in the back. They've got to get out, but they just can't. They just can't turn off the radio or leave the radio. You have, you have them just pinned at that moment because of that incredible immediacy and intimacy of radio. And that is completely addictive. I transferred my honours year to La Trobe University because there was a freshness and an intellectual curiosity about the campus and about the, uh, the tutors out there that I really responded to. What I learned at La Trobe was just a greater sense of application to the real world. My job is to make connections. I think the change that I create is by the people that I can bring together and by the voices that I can amplify. And that gives me a great sense of, um, of purpose and of joy too.